being called a significant moment in the fight against domestic violence as a group of jurors urged the Ontario government to declare intimate partner violence an epidemic and service providers are reinforcing their calls saying the dozens of critical recommendations recently put forward at an inquest will ultimately save lives. These are the latest annual femicides tracked by the Ontario Association of Interval and Transition Houses. All women killed by men. The provincial coalition has also been closely monitoring this data during lockdowns and reopenings. At the beginning of the pandemic, the number of femicides had actually gone down when we looked at the when we looked at the prior year. When the province opened in uh, July of uh, 2020, we started to see a, a spike in femicides occur. Last week, a jury in Renfrew, just west of Ottawa, put forward 86 recommendations at a coroner's inquest into the 2015 deaths of three women, all murdered by their former partner, a man with a known history of violence against women. The recommendations aimed at preventing similar tragedies include the province declaring intimate partner violence an epidemic. Many of the women on our femicide list over the past Two and a half years, uh, the, those who've been charged, um, either husbands, ex-husbands, boyfriends, ex-boyfriends, uh, in those crimes, um, you know, many of them have been former uh, partners. The recommendations are largely directed at the provincial government. They include establishing a preventative 24-7 hotline for men who may be violent. We cannot, you know, simply look at you know, responding to these issues after um, after they have happened, we need to find ways to uh, respond uh, much sooner and and move towards uh, move towards a much more preventative response. The Ontario government says between 2021 and 2022, there were 14,000 women and dependents who accessed family and intimate partner violence services in Toronto alone. But the actual number of victims and survivors is significantly higher. Right now, this time of the year, we tend to see more domestic violence. And this likely has to do with the fact that um, uh, that children are at home, um, children need to be entertained, they get restless, and in turn, the parents uh, are, are restless or there's more stress. For over a decade, a group of Toronto doctors behind the Restoring Smiles program have been focusing on reconstructing women's oral health, victims and survivors of intimate partner violence who are accessing services mainly through the shelter system initially in the GTA, but now more recently uh, across Ontario. Our motto is restore a smile, empower a woman and reclaim her life. Now back to those recommendations, City News did ask the province for a response to those calls to action and whether any would be implemented. A spokesperson would only say that the government is currently taking the time to review and properly consider these important recommendations. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.